And now, here it is, the Rita King Show. And this afternoon, Rita's guests are Max Wren, controversial president of Channel 83, radio personality Nikki Brand, and media prophet Professor Brian Oblivion. Take it away, Rena. Max Wren, your television station offers its viewers everything from softcore pornography to hardcore violence. Why? Well, it's a matter of economics, Rena. We're uh, small. In order to survive, we have to give people something they can't get anywhere else. And, uh, and we do that. But don't you feel such shows contribute to a social climate of violence and sexual malaise? And do you care? Certainly I care. <laughs> I care enough, in fact, to give my viewers uh, a, a harmless outlet for their, their fantasies and their frustrations. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a socially positive act. What about it, Nikki? Is it socially positive? Well, I think we live in overstimulated times. We crave stimulation for its own sake. We gorge ourselves on it. We always want more, whether it's tactile, emotional, or sexual. And I think that's bad. <laughs> then why did you wear that dress? Sorry? That dress. <laughs> it's very stimulating. And it's red. You know what Freud would have said about that dress. And he would have been right. I admit it. I live in a highly excited state of overstimulation. Listen, I'd really like to take you out to dinner tonight. Yeah, you, you Professor to Oblivion. What do you think? Do you think erotic TV shows and violent TV shows lead to desensitization, to dehumanization? Is that microphone? The television oh, screen has become the retina of the mind's eye. Yes. That's why I refuse to appear on television, except on television. Of course, Oblivion is not the name I was born with. That's my television name. Soon, all of us will have special names. Names designed to cause the cathode ray tube to resonate. Yes, I am, actually. Yes. Yes, I am very interested. Nikki. Is Max Wren a menace to society? I'm not sure. He's certainly a menace to me. 